to Aman. I am Haya Miriya Dixon of Grade 6B. I am studying in Kamal Academy, CMI, ICC School, Chalakudi. Let's start with the morning prayer. Oh Lord, today is a new day, a chance for a new start. Yesterday is gone and with it, any regrets, mistakes or failures I may have experienced. It's a good day to be glad and give thanks and I do Lord. Feed me with your daily bread as the bread of life. Thank you for today, an opportunity to love, give and be all that you want me to do. Amen. Prayer for Great 10 Students Dear Lord, we place into your loving hands all our Great 10 Students. Give them wisdom and understanding. Fill them with your Holy Spirit. Help them to be consistent in their efforts. Give them good health and peace of mind. Help them to put in their maximum efforts in their studies and prevent them from all other distractions. Give them good conscience. Fill them with your hope and everlasting love. All this we ask in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Good morning. Today's thought. The sea is same for all. Some find pearls, some find fishes, but, but some just find their feet wet. And the life is common for all, but we can only get what we try for. I repeat, the sea is same for all. Some find pearls, some find fishes, but some just find their feet wet. The life is also common for all, but we can only get what we try for. So, try for the best. Thank you. Good morning to all. My name is Laria Sebastian from 7B Carmel Academy. Today's new word. Word number one from tech and science. Word. Big trot. Big trot. B-I-T-R-O-T. B-I-T-R-O-T. Meaning. The tendency of digital information to degrade or become unusable over time. The tendency of digital information to degrade or become unusable over time. Uh, for example, we fought Bitron and made a website and started making the releases. Word number two from politics. Astrotuff. Astrotuff. A S T A S T R O T U R F. A S T R O T U R F. Meaning falsely made appear. Falsely made appear. Artificially create public support. Artificially create public support. Example, abstract of movement designed to trample any opposition. Thank you and have a nice day. Good morning to all. Today's news, the headlines. International news, COVID-19 Omicron scare in China's Tianjin close to Beijing ahead of Winter Olympics. National news, India adds 1.79 lakh COVID-19 cases today. State News SFI activist stabbed to death in Idki College, Youth Congress member arrested. And Sports News ISL Ibarra's twin strike hands Bengaluru 3 0 win over Mumbai City. That's all for today's news. Thank you and have a nice day. Good morning, everyone. I am Evelyn Nabi of Grade 6 of Kamala Academy, C. My school, Chalakudi. Today, I am going to talk about a novel called Oliver Twist. It was written by Charles John Huffam Dickens. It is a social novel story which is a mixture of both sadness and happiness of a person's life. It tells us about discriminations and the social life of the people during that time. Oliver Twist is the main character of the story. He was an orphan. The story first took place in a workhouse where he was born. His mother died soon after he was born. It is then Mr. Bumble, the charge of workplace, named him as Oliver Twist. Soon he was handed to a nearby orphanage. Mrs. Mann was charged of the orphanage, and the condition of the was pathetic. 
The funds provided by the government to run the orphanage was misused by her. She was a cruel lady. The orphanage was only for boys under 9 years age. When Olur was 9 years age, Mr. Bumble took him to the workhouse where he was born. Little Olver was happy, thinking that he would get enough food to fill his tummy. But the condition of there was more pathetic. There were many children like him. They were made to work from morning till dark and fed very little. No one dared to ask for more food. So they came up with one plan. They picked lords to decide who would ask for more food. And Olver was picked. Soon after they finished their food, Oliver asked Mr. Bumble to kindly give a little more. He got angry and beated Oliver. He complained about Oliver's arrogance in the board meeting. And they decided to put him in a dark room until someone claims responsibility for Oliver. He would be given five pounds as bonus. After a week, Mr. Sowbury arrived as an undertaker and took responsibility of Oliver, as needed a boy to work in his shop and house. He was a kind man, but his wife treated Oliver badly. Due to his wife and one of the servant, Oliver was beaten very, very badly by Mr. Sowbury. Oliver cried the entire night. The next day he rose early, sneaked out of the house and ran and covered as much distance he could. He slept in streets and begged for food. After seven days, he reached a town in London. To know what happened next, please read this book. Thank you. I am Karthik Jyogi from grade 7 become like M. Charkuri and today I will talk about National Youth Day. We celebrate General 12th as National Youth Day being the birthday of Swami Vivekananda. Hence, it's also called Vivekananda Jayanti. In 1984, the Indian government declared General 12th as National Youth Day. This decision, decision was made after 1984, January 12th. We only started celebrating National Youth Day from 1985. National Youth Day is found all over India in schools and colleges with speeches, seminars, sports, music and presentations on January 12th every year. Swami Vivekananda's speeches and writings derived inspiration from Indian spiritual tradition and the broad outlook of his master, Sri Ramakrishna Paramahamsa. These are the sources of inspiration for numerous study circles, youth conventions and projects involving the youth. Thank you.